facing dwindling returns from Mira farming, farmers in Meru County have been forced to rethink their future without the famous hub. After the United Kingdom and Somalia, two of Kenya's biggest Mira markets, burned the crop years ago, many farmers have diversified into sunflower farming, which has a shorter maturity period and fetches better yields. In Igembe North, the former green farms are now teeming with yellow flowers from blooming sunflower fields. After years of uncertainty due to export bans placed on cart by key export markets, farmers in Meru County have found a new hobby in sunflower farming. It has been a project that has really helped me as a youth. I planted my crop in October and I believe in three months' time, that December, I'll be harvesting my crop. Through support from Bidco Africa and Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, the venture seeks to mobilize farmers in the Mira growing zones to do sunflower farming as a complementary venture. The, we started by mobilizing the farmers who are the ranges stand, then we issued them with the seeds. We were telling them that the crop is not resistant, they approved it, it is not resistant, it is fast growing. Shida ya wakulima most of the time ni soko. Lakini hii kulima wetu hii watujinue tena. Uko na rent market. Pasja says the agribusiness project will help in building the resilience of smallholder farmers against the twin challenge of climate change and COVID-19 through investment and promotion of drought resistant crops. So it's a climate resilient project and this is what we are calling locally land climate action. You can see we are not starting from Nairobi. We are not starting from African Union and quarters in Addis Ababa. We are not starting from New York in the UN. We are starting from local level. Bidco, on the other hand, says the manufacturer is targeting more than 3,000 farmers in semi-arid parts of Igembe to raise production of sunflower to meet its demand of 10,000 metric tons for sunflower oil production. In one acre, we expect to get 1,000 kilograms in terms of output. Yeah, so in terms of management practices, eh, it's cost-effective. You use uh, very little cash in terms of labor and uh, all other requirements. Mithika says the sunflower farming project, dubbed Tujinue, addresses most of the farmers' challenges as it is drought-resistant and has a guaranteed market from the manufacturer. This will support farmers to supplement their food, nutrition and financial sources.